Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back. How are you all? Hope you all are fine with your parents in your house, and you all are safe. Children, in this pandemic moment, I hope you all are taking uh, all the measures to keep yourself fit and fine. So, I hope you all are fine, and I pray to God that everything should get all right for everybody. So, children, today uh, will not waste much of time. We'll start with the class. So before starting the class, I would like to uh, say a few sentences to you. Uh, let me see how much of you will understand that. So the sentence is, Fly cat run jug, me go rat jump. I may my fine, you for can do. So how many of you understood the sentence? Tell me. Yes, I know in this world, Nobody can understand what I said just now because what I said just now was just a word. No meaning was found in those sentences because it was incomplete sentence. It was not giving any sense. These were just words. So children, I hope you are guessing what today we are going to study. Yes children, you are very correct. Today we are going to study about sentence the rules, how to write a sentence and the kinds of sentence. Okay children, so first uh, and foremost, we'll be learning the meaning of sentence. What is the meaning of sentence? What is sentence? So a sentence is a group of words that make complete sense. Okay children, a sentence is group of words that make complete sense. So complete sense means it's giving complete meaning. So examples I'll give you so that you'll understand in much better way. I am a girl. So I am myself. I am a girl. So this is a complete sentence which is giving the meaning that I am a girl. You are a boy. That the someone who is standing there, he is a boy. He is playing. So somebody is playing. That he, he means boy. Boy is playing. So this sentence will com give complete meaning. So these are called sentence. But what I said in uh, starting of my lesson like I, me, mine, at, cat, rat, bat, mine, so, go, far. So these are not sentence. These are just uh, words. Okay. Fly, you understand that the word fly. Cat, you understand that the animal. But these are not complete sentence. But when I say I am a girl, he is a boy, he is playing. What is your name? What are you doing? These are called complete sentence. These will give us sense. So first is sentence. The meaning of sentence is a sentence is a group of words that give complete sense. Okay, children. Now, next is I am going to tell you the rules. What is the rules we have to keep in our mind? The first rule when you are writing sentence is you have to write capital letter. The sentence always start with capital letter. So this you have to keep in mind. Sentence whenever you are writing the first letter always should be capital one. Okay. The next rule that also you have to keep in mind that the sentence always ends. The sentence always ends with punctuation mark. Now there are so many punctuation mark. But whenever you are writing sentence, there are only three punctuation marks. That is one full stop, then question mark. And then exclamatory mark. Okay, children. So sentence always ends with punctuation mark, such as full stop, question mark, and exclamatory mark. So these are the things you have to keep in mind. The first thing is the sentence always start with capital letter, and the second thing is sentence ends with punctuation mark. So it's all depend upon the sentence that whether we should add full stop or question mark or exclamatory mark. Now we are going to see in which type of sentence we'll use full stop and in which type of sentence we'll use question mark and in which type of sentence we use exclamatory mark. So then we are going to kinds of sentence. Okay. Now we have learned the meaning of sentence, then rules we have learned. Now it is a kind of sentence. How many kinds of sentence are there? So majorly there are fourth kind of sentence. 
The first one is assertive sentence. Second is interrogative sentence. Third is imperative sentence. And fourth is exclamatory sentence. So these are the four sentences, four types of sentences. Now one by one we are going to learn. So everything is mixing in your head that what is assertive, what is interrogative. So these are all new for you. So one by one we will go. And punctuation mark you came to know that full stop, question mark and exclamatory mark. So these punctuation mark you came to know, the meaning you came to know. Now we are going to know the kinds of sentences. Four kinds of sentences. Assertive, interrogative, imperative, exclamatory. So first let me take assertive type of sentence. So first I will give you the meaning of assertive type of sentence with some example so that the things will be clear for you. Ok children. So first is assertive sentence. What is assertive sentence? Assertive sentence express uh, express the statement to tell the fact or the statement to tell the fact. So assertive sentence express a statement to tell us a fact. We come to know the fact, the statement we come to know. It always ends with full stop. Okay, assertive sentence always ends with full stop and the assertive sentence tells about the fact. So what are the examples I will tell you though so that uh, you will understand actually what is assertive types of sentences are. So Miss Kavita, Miss Kavita is a doctor. So here I am telling Miss Kavita is a doctor. So you are coming to know that a lady Miss Kavita, no, her name is Miss Kavita and she is a doctor. The fact you are coming to know. These are the statements. Miss Kavita is a doctor. My father is a farmer. So I am telling my father is a farmer. The sun rises in the east. So these are the facts. Sun rises in the east. I love my country. These are the statement type of sentence. In this we come to know about the fact. So the assertive type of sentences are. The meaning of that is assertive sentence express a statement to tell us about fact. And it always ends with a full stop. Okay children. So this is about assertive type of sentence. Next we go to interrogative type of sentence. So here interrogative type of sentence is where we come to know about the question. So interrogative sentence ask question about someone or something. Interrogative sentence ask question about someone or something and these sentence ends with question mark. So children keep it in 